Okay, fifth graders, we are at the end of chapter two. We're doing uh, 2-6, pages 66, 67, and 68. And um, it's about uh, problem solving, basically what we've gone over in, in chapter two. Um, maybe doing a little bit of estimating, maybe using models. I know they have some bar diagrams in this and give us some examples. But anyways, let's look at the very first page here, which is page 66. It says Monica wants to buy all of the art supplies shown on the sign. Okay, um, she has a coupon for five dollars and fifty cents off of the cost of her purchases. What will Monica's total cost be after the discount? <clears throat> it says, "What do I need to do to solve the problem? I need to find Monica's cost for the art supplies." In other words, you're going to have to total everything up. Um, it says, "Model with math means you apply math." Um, you have learned to solve the problem. And let's see here, how can I model with math? I can, and the first one is use the math I know to help solve the problem. Uh, I don't know, That's I wouldn't really call that modeling. I mean, if you're estimating or uh, um, just adding them up, that's really not modeling. Um, find and answer uh, any of the hidden questions. Use bar diagrams and equations to represent uh, and solve uh, the problem. Looks like part of this got erased. I'm not sure what happened there. Anyways, um, <clears throat> here's my thinking. I'll use bar diagrams to represent the situation. So the largest bar here is 59.95, which is the, the cost of the uh, easel. And then, um, the smaller bars here, 24.95, 9.75, 13.50. Those are the smaller amounts. And it says the total cost before the discount is 108.15. And so um, you would subtract um, the coupon that she has, 550, from 108.15. And so it says 108.15 minus 550 is 102.65. And so 102.65 is her cost. So they kind of show you the steps uh, and how she solves the problem. Um, how can you decide if your answer makes sense? Well, um, you could estimate why. You could estimate. So in other words, um, instead of 59, uh, we could just call it 60. Uh, the 2495, you could call 25. Uh, 975, we could call that 10. 1350, I suppose we could call it 15. That's pretty close to that. 10 and 60 is 70. Uh, plus 10 more is 80. Uh, plus 20 more is 100. And the two fives is another 10. So approximately, I'm estimating here, we're looking at 110. And then we would subtract, uh, what was her discount? It was uh, 550. Uh, we could round that up to, I don't know, $6 or even $10. And because we are estimating here. So what are we gonna get? We're gonna get approximately $100. And that's pretty close to the 102, 65. So uh, estimating quickly and easily could help you solve a problem. I was curious, they were talking about paintings and I wanted to see um, what the most expensive, whoops, painting was um, that was ever sold. And uh, let me show you here, if I can hit the right button. Um, let's see here. So it was by Leonardo da Vinci, Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci, and it sold for, as you can see there, $450 million. That's almost, that's almost 500 million, which is a half a billion. And a um, uh, little bit of information on it. Uh, let's see here, Leonardo da Vinci's depiction of Jesus Christ holding a crystal orb is the most expensive painting in the world. And you can't quite see it there, but he is he is holding a, 
uh, some kind of uh, crystal orb there. Um, anyways, uh, let's see here. The painting was commissioned was commissioned by King uh, Louis the Twelfth of France in 1605. Commissioned means um, basically he paid Leonardo da Vinci to paint it. And uh, he painted it, I guess, in the same time period as Mona Lisa. And it says, however, between 1763 and 1900, it disappeared. In other words, it was lost. And it was discovered uh, in 2005 by a group of British art dealers. Now get this. They purchased the painting for $10,000. $10,000. Okay, talk about making money on your investment. They spent six years restoring it and then announced that it was an original. And so, make a long story short, uh, a few years later, they sold it and um, purchased by a crown prince of Saudi Arabia. And they sold it for, as you know, $450 million and they bought it for 10,000. Holy cow, what a deal. What a deal. Anyways, let's go back to uh, to this here. Um, let's see here, I'm at the guided practice. Uh, Nate has uh, $30 and 50 cents. And he wants to buy his dog a sweater <laughs> that costs $15, a toy that costs $3.79, and a leash that costs $14. Uh, 79 how much more uh, does he need okay so this is this is problem solving um, and and the, the first problem I would say is that is the dog I if you have to buy your dog a sweater then um, I'm thinking it's time for a new dog and uh, uh, I couldn't help but uh, I had to find I had to find a picture of of a dog with a little sweater and boots. There you go. So uh, I may get some hate mail from this, but if you have a dog that, that needs a little rain jacket and boots like that, then it's time for a new dog. And uh, uh, if you have to spend uh, $15 on a leash, uh, I would just get a piece of rope. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, couldn't help it. Uh, what do you need to find before you can solve the problem? Um, uh, what well, what do you need to find? The cost, the total cost. Whoops. Uh, I need to spell the word the. <laughs> total. Cost. Of. The items. He wants. That would be the leash and the toy and uh, the sweater. <laughs> Okay, it says, uh, draw a bar diagram to represent the problem and then solve the problem. Okay, so, I mean, we're, we're gonna draw a bar diagram. Now, the problem with the bar diagram before we know, because it says, um, draw it and then solve the problem, is that the, the size of the bars might not be that accurate. In other words, let's let's see here uh, if I draw a bar and that represents the 3050 that's how much money he has and then uh, about half that is going to be the sweater I'll just put a little s there for the sweater and then almost another half would be um, the leash because that was 14 bucks and I'll put a little L for leash and then uh, the toy that was you know 379 so that's pretty close to four dollars so I'll just make a little one there and I'll just put T for toy so it looks like he's not gonna have enough money okay and um, uh, show the equations you use to solve the problem. Well, how would you solve the problem? You're going to add up these three, obviously, and then, um, oh, I'm sorry, uh, let me back up here. You're going to add up these three, 
and then see if they are uh, more than the 3050 and if so how much more um, there you go you know how to do that one all right um, let's move down a little bit further here independent practice um, let's see Luz I don't know how to pronounce that Luz Maria has $15 she buys a ticket to a movie and whoops is this still recording I don't know why it jumped like that yes it's still recording go back to where I was she buys a ticket to a movie and a smoothie how much money does she have left okay so she has fifteen dollars how much is the ticket to the movie looks like it's nine fifty and a smoothie how much is a smoothie uh, two eighty five what do you need to find before you can solve the problem the cost or the total cost of what well what do you think that one and that one I'll let you do that then it says draw two bar diagrams to represent the problem okay so I'm gonna draw a bar diagram to represent the $15 I'll just put a 15 there and then 950 for the ticket I don't know that will be about uh, maybe that far I'll put a little T for ticket and then the smoothie would not be very big and I'll put a little S for smoothie and it says uh, what is the solution to the problem and show the equations you use to solve the problem you guys can do that you guys could definitely do that all right and that's oh I almost said that's it um, but we've got to do the problem solving okay school trip here we go um, Audrey is saving for a school trip she needs $180 for the bus tickets um, let's see here I'm going to put those in green and then um, 215 for the hotel and 80 for meals the table shows how much money she and her sister Kelsey have saved over a four month period how much more money do they need for the trip so it shows um, how much they've saved each month Audrey saved 68 in September Kelsey saved 28 and uh, then they do October November and December so you're gonna need the total of these all right how much is gonna be in here how much is gonna be in here total those and then it says what are you trying to find write that out what are you trying to find should you multiply Audrey's savings for September by four since there are four months Audrey saved $68 in in September should you multiply that by four what do you think no because she saved a different amount in October and a different amount in November and a different amount in December so you wouldn't multiply it just by four that's not going to work and I'll let you put that down in your own words and then finally uh, draw bar diagrams to represent the total cost of Audrey's trip um, and the total she has saved okay so it looks like they're excluding Kelsey's savings just Audrey's savings maybe that's kind of confusing uh, bar diagrams represent the total cost of her trip okay so that's going to be those three so you'll total those and then the total cost she saved that would be this here and draw a bar diagram for each and then find uh, the difference if there is any if she saved enough okay that's it so listen uh, Tuolumne County maybe uh, PG&E may shut down our power we may not have any power on Tuesday and Wednesday so um, if you guys don't see me online that is why uh, just giving you a heads up and I'll set this to publish um, on Tuesday morning